I've just met you, but I love you. I care about you. <laughs> now, you laugh when I said I love you. Why'd you laugh? You only barely met me, right? Couldn't help noticing what's on your shoulder there. What does that mean? Patches. No Nazi, no Nazi planks. <laughs> you study history, you know what the Nazis did? Yeah. Pretty horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I don't understand why they, there's Nazis here. Why do you think people are like that? Mm, hate. Something that happened to them a long time ago. Do you think they could be hateful even if something didn't happen to them? We tend to attribute evil actions to some cause that was independent of the person's character, but do you think some people have really bad character anyway? No, it's probably just taught. So it's all extenuating circumstances that cause them to be like that. So it's not really their fault, so we shouldn't send anyone to jail if it's not their fault, is that right? I, I don't know. Do you think there's a God? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. What makes you doubt? Uh, he would have helped everyone by now. You would have saw a sign of him. Has God ever done anything for you? No. Your whole life is given to you by God. You can think and you can talk. You've got blue sky, a sound of birds, love and laughter, friends and family. All these are the gift of God. So can you see that God has done something incredible for you in giving you life? Maybe. Have you ever read the Bible? No. Are <laughs> you doing anything that's morally frowned on by God? Having sex with your girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Looking at pornography? Mm, yeah, that's it. Blasphemy? Probably. And what about lying and stealing? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> so Julian, you've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart, and you have to face God on Judgment Day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, are you going to be innocent or guilty? I'll be guilty. Heaven or hell? Wherever he sends me. Well, the Bible says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. No thief, no blasphemer, no fornicator, no adulterer will inherit God's kingdom. So you're in big trouble. Do you know what death is according to the Bible? No. Wages. Did you know that? No. Sounds strange, but the Bible says the wages of sin is death. In other words, God is paying you in death for your sins. Like a judge looks at a criminal who's committed multiple murders and thinks nothing of it. Mm -hmm. The judge says, I'm going to show you how serious this is. I'm giving you the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what's due to you. This is what we're paying you. And Julian's sin is so serious to a holy God, he's given you the death sentence. You're on death row. Your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. And that horrifies me. I don't want you to end up in hell. That breaks my heart. I've just met you, but I love you. I care about you. <laughs> now, you laugh when I said I love you. Why'd you laugh? Uh, it's funny. <laughs> you barely met me. Yeah, but if you see a whole family get into a car that you know the brakes have failed, and it's downhill, and there's a thousand-foot cliff in front of them, you'd run up to them and hit on the window and say, please, get out of the car. You don't even know them, but you love them enough to warn them. And I'm loving you enough to warn you and say, hey, God can give you everlasting life as a free gift. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Do you know why God can give you everlasting life as a free gift? No. It's because Jesus suffered and died on the cross. Have you heard of that? Yeah. <laughs> Most people have, but they haven't heard this. And Julian, if you can get a grip of this, it's going to change everything for you. Can you listen to me for a minute? The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus paid the fine. If you're in court and you've got speeding fines and someone else pays them, a judge will let you go. You say, hey, Julian, a lot of fines here, but someone's paid him. You can leave, even though you're guilty. And God can take the death sentence off you because Jesus paid the fine and full on that cross. That's how much God loves you. And that's how much he loves justice. That's the extreme he went to to see that justice was done. He paid that fine in the life's blood of the Messiah so that you could be free, so you could have everlasting life as a free gift. So after Jesus suffered for our sins, he rose from the dead and defeated death. And if you'll simply repent of your sins and trust in Jesus, the Bible says God will grant you everlasting life as a free gift. Not because you're good, but because he's good and kind and rich in mercy. Is this making sense? Yeah. Have you ever heard anything like this before? No. So you're going to think about what we talked about? Yeah, probably think about it tonight. Maybe tomorrow, too. Okay, now I want to get rid of the probably and the maybe because we're talking about your life. This is a life and death issue. This is your life and your death. So I want to get rid of the word probably and maybe, maybe. and this is how I'm going to try and do it. When are you going to die? Maybe tomorrow. You don't know, do you? You could die in your sleep tonight. 150,000 people die every 24 hours. And youth is no guarantee of old age. 
And so there's a sense of seriousness and sobriety you should have. This is your eternal salvation. This is where you're going to spend forever. It's not just who you're going to marry or what you're going to do for a job. It's where you're going to spend forever. So, and examine my motive. You know, you smile when I said I love you, but if, if, you, if you can detect a, an earnestness in my tone, it's because I'm genuinely caring about you. I want to see you in heaven, not in hell. So you are going to think about what we talked about? Yeah. With a sense of seriousness? Mm-hmm. Can I give you a book I've written? Yeah. Yeah. This is called Scientific Facts in the Bible. Julian, yeah. it's been a, an honor to speak to you today. Thank you so much for listening. That's, that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So that shows me you're really going to think about it. Yeah. Keep doing this. This is actually good. You're getting your weight around. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. That was interesting, wasn't it? Mm. 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 <laughs> People often say I'd love you to talk to my unbelieving friend or family member, but why not send them this video? Just click on the share button and say, I'd love to know what you think of this. There's nothing offensive about that. Send it and then pray. Do it today. Real quick, here are three things to help you grow in your faith. The Living Waters Podcast, The Evidence Study Bible, 200 of the most commonly asked questions of the Christian faith, and much more. The Starter Kit, four of the most popular gospel tracks, available at livingwaters.com. If you've never watched Homosexuals Left Speechless after hearing the gospel, you're going to love this. You can watch it right now by clicking up to your left.